What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR is a hand-pounded, hand-crafted Tibetan sound bowl. So this is the root or power. So let's get some power before we do the final recovery video. All right, leave a like on this video so more people see, see it. It's been quite a last year and a half, right? I just want to say at the start of this, thank you so much. Bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Bottom of my heart for sticking with me during that time. Now, I don't know if you're a religious person or you believe in intervention or anything, but I do feel like when it comes to that great battle that I had, there's a lot of victim suffering from that. And I just needed some time on the last stages of that recovery. The run stage is daunting. You know, Jasper and I were keeping in close communication with each other. And the size of my physique, you know, before castration Russo, you're looking at after castration Russo, it, you know, it was a lot to come back from as far as like the person I was before, which again, ranked distance runner in high school, ranked wrestler. By ranked, I mean I was top five and everything. Loved athletics and was really always pushing my CNS like crazy. And if you know anything about wrestling, like my wrestling partner in high school was the champ of 145. I could never beat him because he started wrestling in diapers and I could never catch him. Wrestling is one of those things like where you wonder like, why can no one beat Habib at wrestling? That's why, you know, I couldn't get him. Like I couldn't get my CNS to his level because he had so much more rolling time. My CNS from wrestling has to come back to that dexterity and that would be the run stage. So I am just here for the victims, right? I'm not bringing any drama into this. I know I did retract a month back and that was to deal with all the identity crises with my close loved ones that, you know, actually love me. There's no ploy around my social media whatsoever. And I needed them very much during that time. And I had a lot of fun coming back into consciousness. You know, this is my passed away grandmother, but my other grandmother is still alive and well. And I loved having her tweak my new personality, tweak my new dichotomy and point out all the changes from the experiment experiment the recovery i did and you know my mother and girlfriend were also helping me during that time but i wanted to go into just for the victims when you guys recover how it goes so you will be pretty fucking comfortable after the end of the walk stage you will know that the light is at the end of the tunnel and you feel great you can enjoy things again caffeine's great most of the day is very enjoyable. You will no notice your CNS start to fade at night. Their circadian rhythm is still building its clock, right? So you really have to stay focused on not overexerting to a point where you can't sleep and or if you fall asleep, you could wake up screaming and tear because you don't have enough aloe to offset the dopamine from the walk entering the run phase. I had to switch mattresses. I had to sleep on the floor. It was very dangerous. There were a couple of times I woke up screaming because I was too relaxed and I just had to pace through the night and I had to sleep during the day because my circadian clock was coming back. And all my victims out there, you know what it's like not feeling your circadian clock for however long you're suffering. I do sincerely give this fire, give this hope to you that I understand where you're coming from. Like I couldn't tell night or day for a very long time. I could not feel any sort of emotion around the time or day and my circadian clock was broken and I was shrinking away rapidly. And when that starts coming back, your CNS doesn't have enough time to make it all the way through the day. So you have to take into consideration that you should preserve your aloe, watch your dopamine expenditure or you should sleep during the day and kind of like be more of a night owl. Personally, 
old Russo was a workaholic boy that was a night owl that would crank who knows how many hours doing a thousand different things constantly in his boyhood. That was the CNS before that I'm trying to creep back to at this age after that incident. That was number one. As you enter the run phase further, you will begin to experience what is called Lennyism. Now, I love Big Lenny so much. One of my favorite authentic misfits. And if you are new in the fitness scene, he has some of the funniest ments on YouTube and he's an authentic OG character and all love. But Lenny had something named after him where his stomach gets fat, his arms shrink, and it's essentially his central nervous system not operating properly from, we don't know what gave Lenny Lennyism, but at the run stage portion. So I was pretty flat most of the time. Like I could fill out at the gym, but in the run stage, your body starts trying to fill out all the time. And this is where I'm getting, I'm getting greedy, right? My life is not doing that well, obviously, financially. It's not doing that well as far as what I was doing before having to get back on the horse. And emotionally, I'm dealing with myself fully becoming conscious again, all at the same time. I would encourage every victim when they get to the run stage to take it easy. You know, I became fully conscious again and all my friends want to come back into my life. They have one conversation where I feel their emotion fully. Boom, that's way too much expenditure. I'm now at a refresh rate. So in information I, technology, a refresh rate on a screen is like if you're pro gaming, you'd probably use 180 refresh rate. My CNS is probably a very high refresh rate from the wrestling. I can expend it, but then the recovery is the problem right now. So I would watch it very closely. I will just say this and you can, you can all make fun of me. You know, it's been really interesting seeing everyone make fun of me and I'm going to go into the alchemy, the craft maxing at the end of this video, but you can laugh this up. So I was fully conscious again in the run stage. I had a wedding to go to. Now everyone has heard all these things about me. Everyone wants to talk to me and I'm just going to say it how it is. My aura, you know, the electromagnetic field that is provable. So many people came around me, all knew about me, all blasting their pine cones on me, popped my aura where I almost went into an existential crisis and had to leave the wedding and recover in a manic state for hours after just because too many people gave me love and I could feel it again. The refresh rate wasn't there. That was truly terrifying. That was almost another crash for my victims out there. That run stage is very very emotional. It's very intense to fully come back through that portal from hell that only you understand and I understand. And I feel the martyring of everyone making fun of me as I fully become conscious again. And I know that you have told people when they do not believe you and it's all in your head, it's not. I'm here to tell you it's not. I'm here to tell you that you can fully recover. But as you get to that run stage, because it's going to be a yo-yo game, it's been a horrible yo-yo game horrible yo-yo game right it's been so hard to go to the gym with no fucking drive and fucking hurt my body to a point my skeleton's gonna collapse and who knows i can randomly drop dead in the fucking gym and then i have to drive home shaking but every day i got better every day i got better every day i got better every day i walk every day i crawl forward every day i walk i crawl forward right that's the game that you got to have and when you get to the run stage you feel the glory of this fight being over. You feel the glory of the war coming home. You feel all the lessons learned. You feel the scars. Everything starts pouring out. Everything starts coming back. Don't overdo it. You can crash again and you need to really watch the run phase as far as sleeping. Sleeping should be your number one concern. Sleeping has been my number one concern because I didn't sleep correctly for over a year. And I was pushing my brain to the max to try and figure out the ultimate protocol for me personally to get out of this. As I became more and more into the run phase, I started to notice the modifications of the sodium valparate. You know, I'm not going to go into specifics because this is tinfoil hat. I think I might find a comment about HDAX, but yeah, my leg hair, completely different. 
I had some of the bodybuilders around here, some who hold IFBB Pro cards. Um, look at my chest insertions, look at my lower lat insertions, and out of their mouths, not mine, it's different. My beard grows fuller, more facial hair. Overall, I feel like a different person. I have been reborn, dragon born, born out of fire. I cannot expect my persona to be the same. Opening up all my RNA in that horrid state, in that horrid fight that every victim is going to win on the other side, you're going to get your life back. I'm only coming on here to do this one last time to communicate this emotion that you have hope. You might not like me. You might find me too brash. You might not like the dark sheep. You might not like the wolf in sheep's clothing that ran out of the pen and he ran around trying to stop the slaughter, right? But I ran out of the pen because I got to show someone that is possible. And it's a sad, sad thing when the number one opponent is a charity trying to censor my personal platform that I built for years, trying to take it out, showcasing my triumph, my glory, and that's the number one opponent. I don't really like that story of being martyred like that, but we are here to save people's lives and give them hope at least and or stop them from, you know, going off the deep end because I was near the fucking deep end, right? Right? My fucking grandma, every day I pray to her every day, every fucking day. While everyone pray for me around me, show nothing but love around me. All you little fucks that call me crazy online, the little Kevin Man bitch boy squad. Look at me now, man. You won't even call me Kevin Man. You ain't no fucking man. You're not a man, bro. A real man would call, you know? I kept thinking to myself the entire time with the PTSD attacks, which I'm gonna get into. So you're gonna suffer PTSD attacks. My advice with PTSD, and this is Russo's two cents, you can always go to therapy, but the severity of my PTSD attacks could almost cause a crash. I would recommend loading up on HCG, HMG if you feel a PTSD attack coming on. So you have enough aloe to offset it because in the run stage, it is a refresh rate. It is not, you know, you're, you're depleted, right? That's that walk stage where you get fully depleted. When you get to the refresh rate, you're trying to fill the enzyme count in each muscle and it's yanking from everywhere, but it, it's trying to work it out. And then you can get to a point where you can run again, right? Darth Russo can run again. A lot of barefoot shoe walking. The PTSD attacks, the funniest thing is how, you know, people like talk about shell shock and all this stuff and never experience it. I really haven't had an authentic PTSD attack like the couple ones I suffered, suffered from, so I wanted to give some tips. I found when it started hitting and I started shaking, if I would put my arm and hamstring, like put my arm way back on the head of the chair and I put my hamstring right on the arm of the chair. So I had a two arm chair and then I'd had a, have a loved one hold me as I played the memory because I ain't afraid to send that memory because that memory will haunt me unless I send it until it stops haunting me. The fucking answer to that PTSD is in that memory that you don't want to experience because the emotion wasn't processed correctly. I just sat in it, sat in it, had someone hold me, did really good breathing exercises during it. I put my hamstring on the arm of the chair, attached to that, and then I flexed it out, relaxed the rest of my body. So the arm to breathe it out, I experience it. I sin it knowing it's gonna cause it. I can, I can feel it coming on. The loved one is holding me, trying to pull me back down, right? I'm focusing on controlling my frequency, getting through that PTSD attack. I have gone through all of them. I have sat in every memory, and the one I wanted to sit in was my grandfather passing. My grandfather was an actual Pittsburgh Steeler. He did steel work all fucking day long. He could snap my arm without ever lifting a weight when I was a kid. He only had one wife who was almost a nun, snatched her right before she fully became a Catholic nun, and he never ever cheated, never did nothing. 
I knew his power because he grew up in an orphanage. He didn't come from shit. He didn't come from anything, right? He suffered greatly for me to be blessed, to sit here, to come over this triumph, right? So there's no way I was going to quit during that. So to the charity who tried to talk me out of recovering, everyone who told me to quit, I appreciate it. But in my blood, he did not quit. No, he didn't quit. And I'm not going to quit. And when I fucking sit there in that memory where I'm staring at him passing, I'm in the hospital, I look like a bucket of bones. I can barely walk. My parents are helping me walk in to see his final moments. And they say, King Ryan is here. And I'm looking at him and I can't feel any emotion like all you victims. I can't feel it at all. I can't feel nothing. And it's so hammering to sit in that memory. The first time I sat in that memory, which I'm sitting in this memory right now, to show the power of overcoming all this, to know that my grandfather looks up to me now for not giving up during that time like he didn't give up. And his loneliness helped me during that time feel that I had the power to push through that as I didn't sleep for months. I would sleep like two hours reading everything to make sure that I had the ultimate protocol to try and push through this. And just because I give it out for free doesn't make me an enemy. Just because I showcase that I recover fully doesn't make me an enemy, right? You can't martyr someone for just showing what they did and thinking outside the box. I sat in that memory until I stopped shaking. There was so much emotion I was supposed to have in that memory that didn't happen during that time. But best believe when you are fully recovered, fully healed, you're going to be able to experience everything you didn't get to. It's been a lot. You know, I had to step away from social media in the run stage because it is taking a toll on my dopamine as well. Even if I wear amber blue lights, if I wear amber blue lights and I'm blocking 80% of the dopamine, it was shrinking too fast. The key at the end is to balance the temple to the crown. The root is the bottom of the temple that I played. I had to go in the gym and train twice a day. Otherwise my crown was not going to match. That is the big problem in today's society is everyone's crown is obliterated from meta social media, but the body, the temple, especially the root doesn't match the frequency. I've been training twice a day for quite some time. I have up the cycle. I'm not telling you what it is, but I can tolerate cycles. I am 264 pounds in this cloak, 264 pounds. I just truly, it's, it's something where it is hard for me to relate to normal people at this point. You know, now I understand soldiers of war and although my war was different and you guys have different battles and wars that you shared and you rallied behind, I can't tell you how many people came up to me in the gym during that time to tell about their war they ever came, right? Everyone in the gym has congratulated me every day I go in there and I appreciate and love all of you. But for me, there is so much drive built up from losing that year that I am going to recluse into only doing content, rebuilding my physique entirely. My legs have slowly come back. They are not fully back, but I am doing 315 for multiple sets of eight to 12 reps building my way up. Now, remember my old legs, that was 500 high bar ass to grass for reps. So it's going to take a while before my CNS is fully juiced up again. That was the level I need to get to. I have full confidence I can get there. Everything feels normal. I get crazy leg pumps again. And overall, I'm a happy man. To deal with shell shock, you create a small routine each day to get out of it. I had two, three days of pure shell shock and it is not permanent. You just have to create a small routine. Don't do anything strenuous to make it worse, but just move through it, move through it. It's really going to go down the history books of that, that arc being the craziest arc of my character development by far. As you can see, my voice sits way differently than when it did. You know, I wanted to showcase an authentic recovery of that for victims only, who nobody believes them, but I do. I believe you, because I was there really bad, really down bad, really bad. And I want them to see on YouTube 
the slow, you know, bring down of me being up there, right? And that's something people don't understand unless they go through that. Like for me, it's been like so crazy how I can't even put myself back in that mind state. You know, it's truly hell. I actually think of it like, oh, you know, Mint Russo, Dark Russo, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, I, I, I like going in the shadows, right? That's the abyss. The abyss stares back and you don't want to stare back, but it's continuing to stare back the abyss. That's, that's why I just can't stand people saying that's completely fake. I am a representation of 18, 19 year old males with ADHD or neurodivergence that probably are nerds struggling and they look to these hair cosmetic drugs to help them accumulate females because vanity is very important in today's social media age of satanic ranking. That being said, all those males that are obliterated by metaverse already, which is the reason why their hair is falling out because their temple does not match the crown that's being overstimulated. Thus, their hair falling out. If they do a hair loss product, they are now completely ruined at 19 years old. You have to really bring awareness to that. You know, you may not like that I went outside the box. I pulled it off. In my heart, you know, I know that I was very realistic on how risky what I did was. And I am not going back. I am only going forward in this video. And the run stage was definitely the sprint, the kick at the end of the race. But you're righteous after. And I give hope to all you victims. I would not come on here and bullshit whatsoever over that shit. And I ain't charging, right? Everyone knows what I did. It's public knowledge. No biohacker has went against it because they're not a victim of it. I was a victim of it and figured it out. The fucking going down the list, giving everyone credit who threw something on the list. Okay, nobody's combated it. The only opponent left is this charity. To the charity, I have talked to Blake, you know? Me and Blake hit it off, right? I think Blake believes me. He says he believes me. I, I only judge people on their pine cones these days because I got told a lot of things during that time. But Blake believes me. I wish them the best in bringing awareness in the traditional medical community. I will say out of my following, there are a lot of young and hungry scholars in medicine that are getting their degrees that took a lot of notes from what I did and will put it into their authentic truth theses who are studying in the medical system. I, however, as Darth Russo, will combat this and say that that is the biggest jigsaw puzzle ever. And I do not think it's a one size fits all person as it's epigenetic damage in my personal opinion. Feel free to think whatever it is, but I do believe the root cause is some sort of androgen receptor to neurosteroid communication error, aka the androgen receptors over multiplied to a point they do not work correctly and are bumped into each other, can't talk, something's going on there, I don't know, I'm not a fucking guy in the lab, but that would be controlling all the variables and vectors upstream. That root variable is what it's pulling from for all the enzymes and everything. We will see more people recover out of this. Jasper and I are going to meet in person, but this is like, I'm healed, I'm good. I'm going back into normal content creation. I now have the circadian rhythm back of being able to sleep normally, feeling relaxed at night. All my victims know what it's like to just like, you don't get a fucking ounce of relaxation ever right and i know when i speak that off my tongue you victims relate i cannot believe you know people are called crazy like kevin mann did you know it's so funny how a little guy like that will kick someone like me when i'm down but when i want to talk to hair cafe when i'm up about everything he said he scurries away scurries away i don't know why he can't call why do i gotta jump through hoops for Kevin Mann and Hair Cafe when I just want to talk to him about the vibration he put on me and the most detrimental state of my life. All victims, I wish you the best. I am moving on back to normal content. All people from the charity, please go target someone else 
Do not have envy, jealousy, or lust that I fully recovered. You should be happy that I fully recovered. I agree. I took the risky bad boy road. I needed out of there. This all relies on me. My audience has truly blessed me with an ability to number one, have the capabilities to showcase this recovery on a platform that will help thousands of people. I've already gotten so many messages, Ryan, I might not do your protocol, but I no longer want to go off the deep end because I truly believe your story and you were truly open, honest, and authentic during it. And I don't see any reason why you would lie. And there's a whole Reddit of 10,000 people currently suffering from lines, man, from what I did. And it bleeds across all those other compounds. It seems to be the same syndrome. I have full control of my physique again, meaning the lenyism has stopped. I've done enough leg days where the legs are starting to feed the rest of my central nervous system, not the other way around. I've done tons of static holds, almost passed out after, but now my CNS holds great. I can fully work out during the day. I will begin to train at night on camera and we will do the comeback.